Hey, good morning, everyone. Happy Sunday. Rob here from Southwest Florida Television. Another beautiful morning in paradise. 74 degrees. Expecting a high of 85 today. Partly cloudy skies. Absolutely beautiful. See the pelicans offshore here, the little dots out there. Beautiful Sunday morning here in North Naples, Florida. Well, I hope everybody survived their Cinco de Mayo parties. We had a lot of fun at Felipe's yesterday. It was a long day, but it was fun. Those beautiful sea oats. There's Roy walking up the beach. lapping on the shore out there. Pretty calm right now. Quite a few pelicans out there this morning. Water is really shallow in between tides there right now. What's up? Good morning, good morning, good morning. How are you doing? Al from last year. Al, yeah, hey Do you Al. Remember the yeah. dolphin with yeah. the, the fish there? Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah, yeah. yeah. how are you there. doing? Good. 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 Big dolphin go around. Yeah, that was something, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah but you boy. got your Sunday shirt on. You got a new shirt. <laughs> yeah, no, it's a couple years old. <laughs> <laughs> you still got your same shirt on. Yeah. <laughs> That's a couple years old, too. Your birthday, one of your birthday presents. I think so, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think, you hey, get... the first turtle crawl up the beach. Yeah. Oh, did you see one yeah. up there? I was wondering about I that. it was a false crawl, but it's the first, yeah. the first one. Oh, is that what the rangers are looking at? Yeah, yeah. Huh. Well, that's great. I was wondering if that was going to happen. Yeah, first one. Starts so be May is on. the official beginning, so... Yeah. Probably uh -huh. see you tomorrow, Roy. Yeah. Al, right. yep, take it good easy. Yep, yeah. have a good day. For a month, so we'll see you. Oh, all right, absolutely. Have a great day. Yeah. Yep. Say hi to your wife for us. I will look. <laughs> yeah. So, how's Nate. everything going? Good, good, you good. You got a Sunday off, do you, or are you working no, again today? I got a pile of work to do. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry about that. Yeah. <laughs> what makes the world go round? Yeah, that's right. I don't know. Anything new? See any dolphins? No dolphins this Darn. morning. Darn They're working that. away with the dredge. I get a kick out of that because during the week the dredge just kind of sits there. Then on early Sunday morning they're dredging like mad. <laughs> huh. They're up in the past now. Yeah, they're getting, yeah, they're closer. getting closer, yeah. closer into the past now. Yep. And the whole dredge swing, swings back Whoa. and forth. I, I thought it was just that, that front front um, scooper thing that... Uh, oh, really? Know. The whole thing moves yeah, back the, and forth? Yeah, the whole dredge was shifting. It was quite well, we might get a close-up look at it when yeah. I get up there this morning. Yeah, it's kind of interesting. I don't know quite how they swing the judge, but yeah, that'd be the neat. whole big dredge moved with that front, you know, the scooper right. thing was down in the water. I'll go up there and check that out. Yeah, yeah. That'll be interesting. Good morning. Can you get an inspector? 
Well, okay, I'll catch up with you here in a little bit, all okay, right? Okay, yeah. Catch I'm, up on things. I might be up in the shade of the old apple tree. Yeah. There aren't <laughs> bugs up there. Yeah, they were coming through the woods. Some kind of flies and gnats, yeah. Well, I brought my bottle of raid this morning. Awesome. So everything's great. All right. Here comes a gentleman I met at the gate this morning, yeah. I think. Hi there. Didn't, yeah. I, didn't I meet you at the yeah, gate this the morning? Gate. You did. Yeah, I was. I've been uh, watching you guys for months. Yeah, oh, really? My, kid, my kids are up. Uh, how do you watch that? <laughs> well, there you are now. <laughs> think, now you're part of the show. I think it's awesome. Oh, well, yeah, thank you. Yeah, thank you. What's your name? I, my name's Keith Masters. Keith I'm from, Rob, uh, Rob, okay. Michigan. Michigan. Oh, Keith. great. Yeah, yeah, you're from Michigan too, right? Yes. Yeah, me too. Well, I, nah, I'm from Wisconsin, but I went to school in Michigan. Northern? Uh, or uh, Tech or Winston School? At the uh, University of Michigan and at Harvard. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> nice. A little rain. Well, it's great meeting you. Well, it's I'm, so I'm, awesome meeting our Facebook friends out here. Yeah, I don't do a lot of Facebooking, but I'm going to have to have my uh, son get out. There you go. Uh, well, now you got to see guys. yourself on yeah, here. Well, I watch on YouTube. Oh, okay. Yeah. I've time. just been reposting lately on YouTube. Yeah. yeah, so yeah. How long have you been doing this? Oh, gosh. It's coming probably three years now. Oh, really? Yep. It's awesome. That's how I met I, this guy. It's a, uh, uh, a great service to do for well, yeah, Michiganders. Right. <laughs> well, that's what it's there for. It's keep everybody in touch with. Everybody together. Yep. Very nice. Yep. Very nice. There's a lot of friendships been made through this. It's amazing. I, I believe it. It's amazing. A lot of friendships. Roy, I'm gonna do my walk and I'll catch up with you here a little later. Good. Thank you. It's good meeting nice. you. Very yep. Nice. You know what? I need to get a picture of both of you guys. Oh gosh, a picture of us. <laughs> don't need that. <laughs> One of these days, I'll break down and get a haircut. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't do that. This gentleman. Get a picture. Excuse me. Excuse me, sir. Oh, this is great. This yeah. is awesome. <laughs> I'll hide my crutches. There we go. We'll do it again. Do a couple of them. Perfect. There you Thank go. you Thank very, very much. much. Yeah. Thank you. All right. You go. Keep, and I want to give you some money for your book. Oh, yeah. Oh, get your name and phone, too. I wrote it down I, for you. I got it. Oh, Roy. Got it. Oh, no, what, what a great morning. Oh, <laughs> Scott, thank you. Thank you. Oh, that was great. That was so neat. It is so neat meeting people here at the beach that follow us on Facebook. There's a piece of a little crown conch right here. Look at that. That's pretty neat. A little crown conch shell. Part of one. A lot of little shells along the shoreline here this morning. We'll catch up with Roy in a little while towards the end of my beach walk. Check in, see how he's doing. Oh, look at this. Looky what I found. Nice little moon shell. Little shark eye. Awesome. See the eye there? We call this a shark eye. Also a moon shell. Beautiful. Beautiful shells, the moon shells. Well, off to a great start this morning. Oh, here's some worm tips. These are the tips of worm shells. We've got one of our friends, Linda Magyar, she likes these tips. These are the tips of the worm shells just the tips. Those are pretty cool. They're pretty abundant here on the beach. There's a little cockle shell over here. Nice little cockle shell. Great little shells out here already this morning. Oh, here's something neat. Here's a worm shell. It's got a little, the worm tip with just a little piece of the shell on there. Not much, but a little piece of the shell. There's worm tips everywhere this morning. 
wormy tips this is what people call them we got wormy tips and we got worm rock this is a little piece of worm rock you can see the worm tubes Well, that is so neat to hear. We've had our first turtle crawl here on the beach. Sea turtle nesting season has officially begun. Ooh, look at this. There's a murex. It's got a little hole in it. This is an apple murex. That's a cool little, that's a nice little murex. I'll keep that one, even though it has a little hole. A little apple murex shell. There's a little olive shell next to it. It's a nice little olive. A lot of times they don't have the tip on them. This olive has the tip. This is a small one. Small olive shell. A lot of times we'll see these with the snails in them crawling around in the bottom, just on the bottom, just offshore. So you always want to make sure you check your shells. Make sure there's no living animal inside of them before you take them home. That's a nice little olive there. Olive shell. Gorgeous morning here. 74 degrees, looking at a high 85, partly cloudy. There's a jewel box. A jewel box shell. Let's see, I haven't seen a nice big scallop yet. I'm gonna give you a quick look around. Look how beautiful it is out here this morning. Got a lot of pelicans hanging around offshore here. There must be a lot of fish out here. Maybe they'll attract some dolphins. All those fish. It's so nice to see a dolphin. Beautiful morning. We'll go up and check out that sea turtle crawl. We have loggerhead sea turtles that nest on our beach. And I guess we had our first crawl last night a false crawl which means she didn't lay eggs but at least we know they're still out there the red tide didn't chase the turtles away there's a little baby crown conch crown conch fighting conch a little baby florida fighting conch boy there is a ton of shells along the beach here this morning lots of slipper shells everywhere the slipper shell. You're new. This is a slipper shell. People say, why do they call that a slipper shell? Well, here's why. See that? When you turn it over, see how it looks like a little shoe, a little slipper? The slipper shell. There's a lot of shells. There's two lines of shells here this morning. One a little higher up the beach here. I'm going to stick closer to the water. There's a piece of a sand dollar here. Just a piece of one. A chunk of a sand dollar. We have a lot of sand dollars offshore here. This is just a piece of one. Sand dollar is big and flat and round. A lot of people collect sand dollars. There's a piece of finger coral. Let's see why they call it finger coral. There's another chunk of finger coral. That's an older piece. Actually, you know what? That's a that is a stem of a of a shell, maybe a whelk. The inside of a whelk shell, it's all pitted. It looks like a piece of coral. Look at that. That's pretty cool. A 
There's another little worm shell. Got a little piece of the shell attached to it. These can get pretty long. Find these 10 inches maybe. They're very fragile. So this is usually what you find. If you find a nice big one, you're lucky. Gorgeous morning. I want to thank everybody for watching. Be sure to introduce yourself to the group. Let everybody know where you're watching from. There's something neat. It's a little piece of a baby horse conch. Horse conchs can get huge. Oh. 18 inches in size, a horse conch. Almost two feet, some of them. They're huge shells. This is just a little tiny baby horse conch, part of a horse conch shell. And we're here. It's a mossy arc. The mossy arc shell. I see a lot of these on the beach. See the light shining through it when I hold it like that. That's kind of cool. The mossy arc shell. Mossy arcs are very common. seen any big scallops yet on the beach. Part of a banded tulip shell. One of our Facebook friends, Scott Magyar, he found a nice tulip shell the other day, Friday on the beach. This is just the top of the tulip, the banded tulip. A lot of nice shells out in the water. You just walk along the shoreline. The water's not too deep here. You find a lot of great shells just offshore. All these pelicans are just hanging around out here still. Waiting for breakfast to swim by. Let's see if I can zoom in and give you a look at the old pelicans. These are brown pelicans. kind of sit over a school of fish and sometimes they just stick their bill down in the water and it opens up like a big net and the fish just swim right into it. See that one up in the left is doing that. Pretty neat, the brown pelicans. a little further south then turn around and head up the beach. Looks like we're going to get a close look at the dredging barge. One of them this morning. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful morning. The sun's just popping up over the trees. Another nice little scallop, or scallop, cockle shell, pardon me, cockle shell. These little cockles are beautiful. And over here, it's a real small kitten's paw. A little tiny kitten's paw shell. That's a small one. do we have along here? It's 
75 degrees right now, between 74 and 75. Water temperature is 83 degrees. Water feels beautiful. Nope. Nope feel or see any signs of red tide here. Well, here's a horse, little baby horse conch shell. We saw a piece of one earlier. Here's the whole shell. That's a little baby horse conch right there. Very cool. These things get huge. This is just a tiny baby. Little baby horse conch. Flip it over, it won't stay in my fingers. <laughs> Little horse conch shell. Cool. Oh, here's a little spiny jewel box. Let's see. Some of those little spines, got a piece of seaweed on it. Little spiny jewel box. What else do we have along here? Hey, see any good shells? Yeah, lots of nice stuff this morning. Lots of flies, but lots of great shells. Oh, so I sold two books already this morning. Well, there you go. Yeah. So did you get that? Did you write a chapter about uh, for the young people? No, I thought about that, and I, I think there's just enough of the whole book incorporates enough for the young people. Yeah, that's <laughs> a shame. There's quite a few people requested that. Oh, they did request something? Yep. Something for the young people? Well, yep. I think the young people could... People could uh, just, just getting started out in life, you know? <laughs> Some advice. They could get advice from all the other other chapters. You were a young person. For them. Yeah, you were a young person at one time, weren't you? I think the whole book <laughs> qualifies for any type of pe any age of people. There you go. <laughs> young people included. But you know, yeah, when you're young, you don't want any advice. Heck no. <laughs> Especially not from some old. Duffer. So there's your chapter for the young. Take my advice. Yeah. End of chapter. You know, <laughs> get lost, I think, is their answer to that whole oh, thing. Oh, yeah. So I'm not going to give you... I know when I was young, I didn't want anybody telling me what, what to do. Yeah. <laughs> I suppose. But I don't know. I remember I couldn't wait to get away to college, both my brother and I, so, right. my, so my mother wouldn't be always telling us what, what we should be doing yeah. and not doing and all that sort of thing, you know. And, and then, uh, then all of a sudden one day you wake up and it all made sense. Well, yeah, later, <laughs> later on you realize how, how everything she said was right and you wish you'd listen more to her. And exactly. How dedicated she was and you really appreciate her. Now, now she's gone, truth? you can't very well tell her that and, unless you tell her up in heaven. And, yeah. You, you know what I mean? Yeah. But uh, you realize later on how much she dedicated her life, her whole life, to training you and bringing you up. And yep. oh man, mom and dad, you know, yeah. they always were there looking out for your best. Isn't that right? But you just don't you're, realize it when, when you're, you're young. You're, you don't want to hear all that. You want to do it. You want to do it on your own. In fact, we when we were away at college, you know, back in those days, people didn't call long distance because it oh, cost yeah. money. So she'd send us these huge letters oh, yeah. telling us what we should be doing and not doing. And, and both my brother and I, we'd say, hey, did you get a diatribe from mom? Yeah, I got it. You know, we wouldn't even read the letters. They were so right. huge, we'd just right. chuck them away, and that was that. So. <laughs> wow. No, I know how that goes. I think we all can relate to that one. <laughs> But later on, you appreciate people telling you things because you, you realize you don't know everything and, and you can sure learn things from other people yes, who've maybe yeah. had other experiences or the same yep. experiences and got some good answers for you. So that, 
he was from the same place you're from, huh? Or, well, same state. Yeah, yeah, Michigan. Michigan. Yeah. yeah. That was neat. Yeah. So you're selling books on the beach now. Well, uh, he just uh, knew about it. I met him at the gate coming in this morning, and he said, Hey, I saw you on Facebook. I want one of your books. I'll see you on the beach. So You better be careful. The parks are going to want a commission here. <laughs> You're going so to say, say you have a concession here. seems to be going well, and, and I, I'm working on this PayPal deal, but I, it takes about a week for it to get uh, finalized or something, so that's yeah, coming along. I don't along, know what but kind of PayPal that is. I pre appreciate uh, people sending me their checks. It's 718 95th Avenue North in Naples, Florida, 34108. You got that, 20, ladies? 20, 20 bucks, and you'll, you'll get uh, two books. Oh, I found... Some more of those little books that I wrote out in California. Well, those, those aren't books. Those are little. Well, they're little, and they've they got uh, 30 uh, illustrations. I had a good, uh, good yeah, artist. It's a picture book. Yeah, a lot of pictures of. That's, of it's uh, a little picture book. Yeah, happiness or hardship, and I've got yeah. pictures of each one, all the different moods. <laughs> kind of. Kinda let me see one of the. Let me see the gluttonous face that one that's yeah a, gluttony, that, that gluttony. one cracks me up gluttony you do is that? in there obstinate <laughs> make one of the faces gluttony and make one of the faces for us <laughs> oh that's the happy face <laughs> that, you do that one all the time well we got we got smiling and uh you know happiness do and the angry grief and anger like and when all. you stepped on that fish anger what did, what did and you uh, forgiveness like? and uh, i mean uh, it's all the all the different uh, about 30 different uh um uh, kind of Portraits of yep. uh, people's emotions. Yep. That was a good artist. So yeah. that, that's going to be thrown in on the first 50 because I found some more. It was going to be just 25, but I was that friend I, a police sketch artist that did that? Uh, did they work for the police department? I don't know. <laughs> they kind of look like police, like the sketches they do. You know, like. Oh really? Yeah. Did I show you the book? Yeah. Oh, you saw it. Okay. Oh yeah. <laughs> that was yeah. something. So I found some more of those, so that I think I got enough for the first 50. So I'll well, send out, include that with the right. first 50 subscribers. Well, I once, got enough subscribers already. We're definitely going to press. Oh, well, whenever press now, you're going to press. Well, it's <laughs> I got enough subscribers that I got my uh, cost covered for printing. So well, I'm go. having a secretary and I type it. Well, Sandy is typing it up. Well, she's not typing it. She's yeah, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. She's typing it, and then it's gonna go on the, the printer. You got to put it on the uh, internet and ship it to them somehow or their computer. She knows yeah. how to do that, and then they're gonna print it up, and away we go. Well, there you go. Your booklet will be out soon. Your well, booklet of tips. Probably take about a month, and that should be in the mail. A month, you think now? Well, the printers take a couple weeks, and really? I'm, not there, I'm not quite done with it. And, and then she's got to type it up, and I got to audit it and check it out and make sure there's enough uh, question marks and periods and if buts and what I have, just, you know, and <laughs> two wits. Yeah. All those are important. <laughs> well, sounds like a lot of fun. Well, it's, it's been a real pleasure. It's been a little bit of work, but I really enjoyed it because I'm hoping there will be little tips in there that just might help somebody. Hopefully, sometime. yeah, but I hope people enjoy it. That'll be great. Well, well, when she when she typed it up, uh, Sandy was saying how, how it was so interesting she couldn't stop typing. She kept on going late at night, and she said she was laughing and laughing. I don't know what she was laughing about, but she found a lot of humorous parts in the book. Too. All your Roy-isms. <laughs> <laughs> All those Roy-isms. <laughs> Well, I've refrained from putting some jokes in, but... Uh, oh, well, that's the next book. Roy's <laughs> Book of Jokes. Well, the problem with the jokes is the, the jokes I heard from a guy, and I don't know where he got them from, and they, somebody else might have figured them out, and then if I put them in the book, I'd be plagiarizing, and I don't want to get I don't think sued so. for plagiarism. Because <laughs> I got, you know, I thought one of those jokes was kind of relevant about the the smartest guy in the world. Tell us that one again. You didn't know that one? That Tell one. us that one again. Well, I, I thought it was relevant to, to my book about uh, uh, pridefulness, and, you know, I couldn't go in right. that section on conduct but, conduct, but anyway, the plane was flying along, and uh, there was the three passengers in the rear end, the pilot, and the pilot comes on back to the 
the rear part of the plane. He says, I'm sorry, gentlemen, to tell you that uh, our engines are, uh, are going bad and the plane is going to crash and we'll all have to jump out uh, with the parachutes. But the pilot says, there's only one uh, little problem and that is there's four of us, three of you plus me, and there's only three parachutes. And the pilot goes on to say, I've got young children at home and a young wife to support and I don't want to leave them bereft, so I, I need one of the parachutes. So he grabs the parachute, out he goes. Well, there's these three guys left, and the one guy, he says, I am the smartest guy in the entire world. I'm the wisest, smartest man that there ever was, and I've got people that are constantly calling me up for advice and counsel, and I can't disappoint them and let them down, <laughs> so I need a parachute. So he grabs the parachute, out he goes. Well, then there's two, two people left and uh, and uh, this one parachute and and uh, one is a pastor of the church an elderly gentleman and the other is a boy scout and the pastor said he says young man he says i've had a long and worthwhile life and and uh, i think you you're a young man you should take the parachute and, and go ahead and go out and the boy says a boy scout says uh don't worry sir he says, there's, there's two parachutes left. The smartest man in the world jumped out with my backpack. <laughs> oh, Geronimo. <laughs> I thought I might include that in the, the oh. section of pride cometh before a fall. There you go. <laughs> that was quite a big fall. It was. <laughs> That's a good one. Oh. All right. Go. Go out, finish up your walk, and let me finish doing some shelling here, and I'll okay. catch up with you yeah. one last time here, great, all right? Great chatting with yep, you. Yep, Roy, yes, always, it's always, always a pleasure. Always a delight, always yep. a delight. All righty. Thank you so much. All right. Have see you in a day. Yep, I'll see you in a little while. We're finding some really great shells on the beach this morning. Look at that. That is a cool-looking scallop right there. Got some barnacles on it. That is pretty neat. Scallop with some barnacles. Over here, it's a little whelk, or whelk, a little baby conch. Nice little baby conch. Nice little baby conch shell. There's an old, old wore out lightning whelk over here. That's an old one. It's lost all its colors. An old lightning welt. That's a great little conch right there. Good morning. Good morning. Good oh, thank you. <laughs> more fans, more fans. Straight in from Seattle. From Seattle, wow. Welcome, welcome. You got here just at the right time when that red tide left. Exactly. <laughs> Oh, that is so cool. More Facebook friends from Seattle. Look at that, isn't that cool? That is a scallop. It's so neat with those barnacles on it. I'm gonna rinse the sand off that. Stick it in my pocket. Water looks great this morning. A little cloudy, it's because of the waves turning up the sand. It is beautiful out here this morning. Beautiful all around. The water, the weather. I think I'm gonna turn around and head back up the beach. See what's up there. Two little pockets of shells here. I'm gonna check out real quick before turning around. Hopefully we'll see the turtle tracks on the beach. Hopefully they didn't get covered up yet or walked on or driven on by the rangers. I'll show you what a sea turtle crawl looks like. So we're gonna be seeing a lot of those over the next several months here. It's sea turtle nesting season. Here at this beach, we have loggerhead sea turtles that crawl on the shore, build their nests and lay their eggs.
Well, let's turn around and walk up, head north. For those of you just tuning in, we're at Delnor Wiggins Pass State Park in North Naples, Florida. There's a mile of beach here at Delnor Wiggins, and as you can see, this is all natural, no homes or condos. They let Mother Nature just run her course here at the beach. They don't do anything to really re-nourish the beach. The only thing the park staff does is they keep it, they do their best to keep it clean. It's a big job taking care of this park. There's more to this park than just the beach. There's a trail, a nature trail, it kind of parallels the beach just behind the the trees there. Lots of birds and wildlife in there. Picnic tables and barbecue grills all scattered along the, the walking trail. It's a great place to come and spend the day with the family. Pack a picnic lunch. Summertime, definitely bring the bug spray. Something just jumped out here. I don't know what it was. Something just surfaced. I think I saw a dolphin offshore. Yeah, I think there's it's either a dolphin or a manatee. Oh, a couple dolphins. Let's see if I can zoom in a little bit. And they're way out there. I don't know if you can see that water rippling out there. Over here. Just saw a couple dolphins surface. There was one of them. I don't know if you can see them, they're pretty far out. They're way, there's two dolphins swimming way out there. They're a bit too far out to see them this morning. Well, here comes a bunch of pelicans, though. We'll definitely see them. Oh, so cool. The dolphins are a bit too far out to see right now. Maybe they'll come in a little closer. Just walking up the beach. I'll keep my eye open for some interesting shells here. These are cool. This is a fighting conch shell. What's left of a fighting conch shell. Florida fighting conch. They call these twisties when you can see the inside like that. That's what's left of a Florida fighting conch shell. Maybe we'll find a nice big Florida fighting conch here on the beach. You never know. Our friends from Seattle are just up ahead of me. Hopefully they're not beating me to all the good shells here. The dolphins are still way, way offshore. Absolutely gorgeous here. It'll be up in the mid 80s today for a high. Absolute paradise.
Did you find something interesting? Well, we haven't found a shark tooth to beat you yet. Oh, <laughs> join the club. <laughs> that's my luck rubbing There's off. Some on. cool stuff. Though. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's a that's a neat colored worm shell right there. That darker color and a fighting conch. Yeah, everybody takes one of these home to yeah. come to the beach. <laughs> these fighting conchs. These are probably the most collected shell on oh, the beach. Awesome. There's pretty. times when the beach is lined with them. Wow. And there, a lot of them are alive though. Wow. So you know, you know the rules. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> We've just been so jazzed over the last few months watching you do this video thing, and then we finally come down here and get to enjoy it. It's well, that was awesome. Great. Yeah, it yeah, definitely helped. You know, move I easier. think these flies are from the, the they buried all the fish, you know, back right, up there. Yeah. So it's probably why we have these darn <laughs> flies out here. But well, at least the tide's finally starting to dissipate. Yeah, you gotta take the good with the bad. Yep. yep. Exactly. <laughs> all right. Good luck on your there selling. You go. Cheers. What is that? That looks like part of the shell of one of those leopard crabs. I don't oh. know if you ever saw one of those in my video. Uh -huh. They are wild looking crabs, but it looks like a piece of the shell. <laughs> oh, it's nice and warm. Here's a little fighting conch, another little fighting conch shell. The Florida fighting conch. So there you go. Now you can have the one of the little babies. Oh, thank you. <laughs> nice. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Awesome. You got it. You know what's funny is if you stop, all of a sudden you're gonna start seeing more and more and more. You just walk by stuff. I do yeah. it all the time. Yep, they are up, up at the very end up here. Yeah. There's two dolphins out there swimming around right now. Did you, did you see them pop up? They're, they're kind of far out. Yeah, but they're way... So, I mean, there's times where they'll, just, they'll race right up, almost beach themselves. Yeah, they're, wow. they're, they're really far out right now. Very cool. But yeah, there's, there's some scallops. You can see we get the scallops in all different Beautiful. colors. And you can find some big ones once in a while. They're gorgeous. Yep. You want them? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you probably have quite the Oh, I do. <laughs> My wife hates me for, for everything I bring home. <laughs> Thank you. Yep. My wife's like, why do you keep bringing shells home? You have enough shells. No, there's no such thing as enough shells. Yes, the darn dolphin are way, way out there this morning. But they're there. They're always there. Look at this old conch shell. Wow. That thing was probably huge. Another piece of worm rock here. The worm rock's really neat when you look at it up close. See the little worm tubes. Another fighting conch shell. This is a mature Florida fighting conch shell. Always make sure there's nothing, in it, no living animals in these shells when you pick them up. More folks out here shelling this morning. Oh, here's a crown conch, what's left of a crown conch. An old worn out crown conch here. 
beautiful shells. Well, that sea turtle crawls around here somewhere if the rangers didn't cover it up. Let's see if I can find the tracks here. There's a nice big cockle shell down here. That's what's left of a cockle. It's got some chips in it. Beautiful cockle shell. All right. I saw the park rangers up in this area. And I thought is where we had a false crawl on the beach last night. So I was hoping to be able to show you some turtle tracks, but I do not see where it is. Oh, here it is. Here we go. These are the tracks from a loggerhead sea turtle over here. Somewhere I saw them, here they are. They're going to be hard to see. This looks like a small turtle. They look kind of like tire tracks. See these impressions in the sand? They've been walked over. The rangers have driven over them. This is where the... It's really hard to see them. It's not a good set of tracks here. You can see a couple of the, the tracks right here. That's from her hind legs pushing her way up the sand. She just went up, right up to the edge of this, this ledge here and kind of did a U-turn and crawled back down into the water. This was one of our, the people have walked all over it already, but these, these are the tracks from a sea turtle. Oh! Nice. Right here, she kind of, she walked up there Yep, and she turned around. She just kind of hit the ledge there and turned around and walked back. But um, you'll see, you'll start to see a lot of these if you come out here. And um, they look like they look like tractor tire marks on the right, beach when okay. you see them. The see, it's really hard to see them right here. This right here, oh, that's it. they've been oh. they've been stepped on and oh. and they just kind of push themselves up the beach. Very cool. <laughs> but, Really cool. Oh, that's a beautiful. Oh, wow. That is a. Did you find that in the water? It's right over here in the edge. Beautiful lightning whelk. That's a lightning whelk. That's a great find. I'm jealous. That's gorgeous. <laughs> that's a great souvenir. A lightning whelk. Might be the one that we have to keep today and put, turn the rest loose. Oh, there you go. <laughs> that was a great find. Oh, that was a beautiful lightning whelk. See if I would have walked the beach a little further and not gone up and looked for that turtle track. But there's plenty of shells for everybody here. What a gorgeous morning. This is our own little piece of paradise here on Earth. Of course, we got to tolerate these dredging barges that are out here right now, but oh well. What happened is Hurricane Irma and some of our summer storms last year, they just, there's a pass up here. It's called Wiggins Pass. And the pass just got filled in by the hurricane, so they're dredging that out. It's almost impossible to navigate for larger boats. Thanks. What a 
gorgeous morning. There's a piece of a huge cockle shell. Not huge, almost huge. There's a large, large cockle. They get bigger than that. What's neat is these are, you know, all these shells were fine. Think about this. There was something living inside all of these. These cockles, they're all out on the sandbar alive with the big cockle inside. But it's amazing when you start thinking that at one time all of these shells had some kind of living, something living inside them, a snail, a mussel. It's amazing. Boy, it's starting to warm up now out here, big time. Big, big time. There's another little scallop shell. Scallops are so beautiful. That's kind of, I, when I think of a seashell, that's the shape I think of, the scallop shell. You can always tell the scallop, it has like I call them little wings down at the base. It looks like a little fan, the scallops. I've already bumped into Roy a couple times this morning. Had a couple little chats with him. He sold two books on the beach this morning. He is having a blast with that book. I hope everybody's happy with it. He's getting it everything in order now to get it printed. Another cockle shell. Wow. What is this? Look at this. This isn't a cockle. It's just a clam shell, but look at all the barnacles on that. That is cool. It's neat looking. And there's the cockle. Another cockle. So as you can see, the cockles are pretty common. As are the scallops. There's another nice looking scallop right up there. Another piece of worm rock over here. The worm rock, you can see the little worm tubes. It's pretty cool. There's a little, another little kitten's paw, a couple of them right here. Two kitten's paws. Two little kitten paw shells. Wow. There's a lot of little shells piled up here along the shoreline. This is where you really got to stop and take your time. There's another cockle up there. See it up in the top there. There's the back back end of a horseshoe crab. <laughs> That's its tail. It's the tail of a horseshoe crab right there.
There are lots of cockle shells on the beach. If you're just joining, if you're new to the feed here, introduce yourself, let everybody know where you're watching from. We get friends from all around the world joining us here on these beach walks. Look at these cockles everywhere. Cockles this morning all over the beach. More cockles. That's a nice one. That is a nice big cockle shell there. Just, just below it there, a little one. The mossy arcs. See a lot of these mossy arc shells. Morning. Good morning. Everybody's so friendly out here. A nice little worm tip. Tip of a worm shell. Well, we're up in the north end of the park now, Area 5. This is where the fishermen hang out. It's the only part of the park where you're allowed to fish, Area 5. Man, I am just amazed at how many cockles are out on the beach this morning. Cockle shells everywhere. If you want a cockle, today's the day. Beautiful out here. It's looking south, down towards the city of Naples. This is North Naples, Del Norwegans Pass State Park, a beautiful Florida State Park in North Naples, Florida. There's some dolphins that have been playing offshore. They're way out there. They're too hard, it's impossible to see them in the camera, but there's been two dolphins just playing all morning, way out there. Wish they'd come in closer for us. Another fighting conch, Florida fighting conch shell down there. Another nice scallop shell. Little baby fighting conch over here. Another little baby Florida fighting conch shell. What a great morning. What a beautiful morning. Quite a few conks up here. Quite a few fighting conch, Florida fighting conch shells up here at the north end of the park. Beautiful shells. Just gonna give you a look around the corner and turn around and head back. We'll go see Roy, say goodbye to Roy. It's 
I have broken out in the sweat this morning. A lot of boats heading out into the Gulf this morning up here at Wiggins Pass. Morning. Well, there's the barge. A good look at one of those dredging barges. It's dredging out the pass. Just on the other side of Wiggins Pass up here. That's Barefoot Beach, another beautiful beach. Delnor Wiggins, where I'm at, it's really easy to get to. Just get off at exit 111 on I-75, which is a Mockley Road. Head west all the way to the end of the road, and you wind up at Delnor Wiggins Pass State Park. Couldn't be any easier to get here. There's the old barge. This is the north end of the park right here. A few fishermen around the corner. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I'm going to snap off a photo. Bear with me. I'm going to zoom into the barge. That's what one of our local dredging barges looks like. Let's head back down the beach. Go catch up with Roy one last time. Really hard to see the horizon. Looking, this is looking south in the southwest very hard to see the horizon out there the gulf just blends in with the water a little tiny breeze just a very slight breeze blowing here as i'm walking south feels great So neat seeing younger people out shelling. The younger generation has so many other things to do. To see them out walking on the beach picking up shells, that is so cool. Peaceful, just walking along, listening to the waves.
Beautiful blue sky. Here's Scott and Linda. Scott and Linda Magyar. So you guys survived Cinco de Mayo? Yeah, we are a little late this morning, but... <laughs> That's understandable. My neighbors didn't make it quite no. well. <laughs> they were going to come out with us, but they didn't make it. That tequila is powerful stuff. Delicious. <laughs> it's delicious, but powerful. Oh, gosh. How are you this morning? Good, good. good. You find anything? Find any tips out here on the beach? No. No, no tips? Yeah. No full worm shells, just the tips. Just the tips. Yeah. Hey, I found something the other day. I was walking right behind you. Of course. And, uh, you know, I'm blind. I tried to catch up to you, but rolling right on the surf, I know you've been looking for one. Oh, wow. There Scott. you go. Oh, thank you. All yours. You're the man. Hey, I do what I can. I was going to give you this tiny one I found yesterday just to, you know, make you feel oh. good, but I thought I'd give you the big one. That's, um, look at that. That's a banded Magic. tulip shell. That is so cool. Yep. Oh, that's a nice olive, yep. too. Walking nice. right, found that just now. Walked right out yeah. behind you. It was right on the beach. Nice right big olive. this morning. <laughs> and it's like got the tip. It. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's a nice part. olive shell. <laughs> but I do have a question for you. Yes. Any idea what this white shell is? I've never seen it. Linda found that yesterday. I have no idea. That's a good question. I found a couple of these, and I've asked what they were, and nobody answered my question. But what's neat is that little spiral down there inside. Yeah, it spirals all the way in. Really cool. And as white as can be. Yeah. It's like an albino. Right. So anybody, if anybody knows what that is, let me know. Yeah. And Scott, let, yeah, Scott let and Rob know. know, yeah. <laughs> and good morning, everybody. There you go. It's good to see you all in person. Wait a minute, I'm not, still not seeing you. <laughs> there you go. All right. You guys have fun. Take I'm care. sure I'll see, see you, you sooner than later. Absolutely. <laughs> all right. Take care. They are new transplants to the area. They just, Scott and Linda, just moved down here this week. So that's a banded tulip shell. Isn't that beautiful? A banded tulip shell. That is a great find. Thank you, Scott. That is a nice shell. Wow. Stick that in my pocket with the rest of the things I picked up on the beach. One of the things I picked up this morning I thought was kind of cool was a scallop with these barnacles on it. I thought that was kind of neat looking. That's different. What else is in my pocket here? Oh, found a moon shell, a shark eye shell this morning. Found that first thing as soon as I started walking on the beach this morning. Found this shark eye. Also called a moon shell. That's the eye. Also found a little apple murex. See if I can dig that out of my pocket here. It's hard. Let's see. There it is. It's got a little hole in it. That's an apple murex shell. Pretty cool. Looks like a keyhole when you look at it like that, sort of. The apple murex. The apple murex has the brownish, the brown stripes. The lace murex is white.
I found a couple neat things to add to my collection this morning. And there's lots of beautiful shells out here, don't get me wrong. Lots and lots of beautiful shells. I just go for the more unusual ones to add to my collection. Big old piece of worm rock here. Some seaweed hanging off it. Looks like it's growing some hair over there. Worm rock. That's a nice big chunk of it. See the worm tubes there? Beautiful Sunday morning here in North Naples, Florida. Absolutely gorgeous. I want to thank everybody for watching. Be sure to tell your friends about Southwest Florida Television. Where's a black scallop shell down here? A black scallop. I see a lot of these on the beach. The black scallop shells. Uh, several dolphins this morning, but they're way, way offshore. Too far out to see on the camera. It's always nice to know, though, that the dolphins are here. We had one sea turtle crawl last night. One loggerhead crawled up on the beach, but it was a false crawl, which means she didn't dig a nest, build a nest, and lay eggs. So she'll be back. That's an, that is great to know that the sea turtles are coming to the beach after that horrible month of red tide that we're, we're dealing with. looking north up the beach up towards Fort Myers Beach is way way up there you can see we had a lot of erosion here along the beach it was a beautiful park though great park we got great restroom facilities along up and down the beach outdoor showers picnic tables, barbecue grills, all back in behind the trees. There's a nature trail that parallels the beach and there's picnic tables and grills scattered all throughout the park, all along that trail. Great place to come and spend a day with your family. There's a concession stand here. That's in parking lot four. They rent beach chairs, umbrellas, paddle boards, canoes, kayaks. There's a boat launch area here. You can launch your boat. Fishing up at the north end of the park. No swimming at the north end, just fishing. And then no fishing in the south end. Let's go over and say hi to Roy one more time. fun talking to Roy. He's always got something fun to share. Sometimes he gives 
Sometimes he's got some good words of wisdom to share with us. We'll go up there and see what he's got to say this morning. left of somebody's sand castle on the beach up there. I don't know if that was, is it Soflo sand sculpture? That might have been what's left of the one he built yesterday. Well, Roy's up under the trees here. Here we go say hey. Go check in. He's up there with, with his book as usual, up in the shade of the old pine tree. Oh, Roy hey, Roy. how you doing, Rob? Good. Still reading the same book? Well, it's the Panama Canal. They're finally going to start building it, the Americans. <laughs> <coughs> the oh, that's, that's where you're up failed. to? Right. <coughs> yeah. That, that was, was interesting. I can't believe that after there's such a valuable asset that we gave it away. Well, I don't know, that's I don't know what, what we did. president do. did that and why he did it, but it was unbelievable to give such a thing away. We're, we're so generous. Yeah. <laughs> We're I mean, so quick to give away our things I mean, here that in this was a country. tremendous thing, and we built it in, uh, in spite of all ad, odds, yellow fever and malaria and I don't yeah, know what that, all. Wasn't that something? And, and we built the thing, and then some president gave it away for absolutely no reason that I know of. Hmm. He should have been impeached. I don't know when that was, but anyway. That was crazy. I guess that's water over the dam. <laughs> that's water through the canal. Can't, can't, can't through uh, the locks. rouse ourselves fretting about what some goofy right. politician did. Can't can't go back in time. No. That'd be something if you could. Yeah, didn't Shakespeare <laughs> write something about our, all of our clarity and the moving finger writes and having writ moves on. <laughs> yeah. And all of our clarity and wit will never erase a word of it. Isn't that the something truth? Something like though? that. Yeah. Good old that Shakespeare. So true. Shakespeare usually sums things up pretty well. Yeah, I don't know if I'd do if I'd be any better off or worse off if I went back in time. I'd probably do the same stupid things over. Who knows? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> or find some new ones. <laughs> I, I I constantly muse. I think I've told you about people a hundred years from now, or maybe a thousand years from now, looking back and thinking. Remember those dopes yep. back in 2018? They for cripe's sake, they did this. They, did, they didn't know anything about this. What a bunch of imbeciles. <laughs> you know, kind of the way we look back on people that are, you know, like the cavemen. They didn't know anything about right. nuclear power. <laughs> but those, but there were some pretty smart people back in the Oh, you days. aren't kidding. I mean, some of those people civilizations were... good brains since the yeah. beginning of time. I mean, it's amazing. It's just, they and didn't the, know how to use it. And build, <laughs> building all of our machinery... Even yep. that big dredge working at the end there. Yep. I mean, ever since the first caveman picked up a stick to use as a club, that was an yeah. instrument, a piece of machinery. Ever since then, we've been creating better and better and more efficient -ish machinery. Yeah. And we're doing a good job of it. Of course, nuclear power now is one of the biggest piece of machinery. Yeah. But what comes after that is what I'm curious about. And the biggest machine of all, we're still we still don't know much about it, and that's us. <laughs> we are biggest machine of all. <laughs> we are one complex piece of machinery. Isn't that right? <laughs> science is still learning about the human body. Yeah. Yeah. An am amazing contraption. <laughs> <laughs> And the whole medical profession, yeah. I'm really immense, immense, impressed with them. Not only the profession, but all the scientists and researchers that figured out all the different things. Uh, yeah. You know, it's just amazing. What's and I mean, and they just make new discoveries every day now. Yeah, isn't that I mean, exciting? Technology is just moving so fast, yeah, moving forward really so exciting. fast. Really Medicine, exciting. technology. And to be part of this whole thing and, 
and to be aware of these new developments. It's the most exciting thing in the world, isn't it? It sure is. And while we're uh, part of this exciting world, we can look out at the beautiful blue sea and the blue sky and enjoy mm -hmm. the peacefulness of it and not worry That's about it. That's the best it. part. We let the professionals worry about it and we enjoy it. <laughs> you know, technology. I've met several people out here for the first time today that have seen us on Facebook. Is that right? Yep. Well, this I young, just met young, a couple a couple from Seattle. Young gentleman I was talking to, Keith, yeah. he just bought two of my books and he Keith. saw us on Facebook. I called him Scott by accident. <laughs> I was thinking of Scott and Linda. Yeah. Scott They're up there. Linda. I just saw them walking by. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, good. Well, this, this just amazes me when we meet the people that have seen us here, seen our mugs on the internet. Well, it's amazing gadget you got there, and like, like I've told you a hundred times, my gadget. <laughs> it, 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 does, it does a lot to bring people together. It does. I when, think it's when, great. When you figure the number of thousands that are watching this, and you and I are just chatting kind of offhandedly, and, yeah. and uh, just enjoying the journey, and just think people are involved with us, and even if they aren't here at the beach, they can be... They can be with us in spirit. same as they're here, because yeah. they're listening to us here yeah. and they're with us in spirit <laughs> and they got a picture of the beach and yep. maybe someday they'll make it down to the beach hopefully yeah we they'd look be forward great. to meeting them come everybody. on everybody <laughs> come on down to the beach it's glorious when roy sells a million copies he's going to fly everybody down here <laughs> <There you go>. <laughs> <laughs> right now i'm working on a thousand wouldn't that be something there you go <laughs> all right well i got to get rolling here what time is it well, it's I'm glad nine, you nine found o'clock. Nine. Yeah, I got a little more time. I'm glad you found that watch on the beach. Yeah, it works out well. Makes it easy to keep track here for me. There's one big problem when I swim with it, though. It's only good for water resistant for fifty meters. Fifty meters. So I got to be careful well, you gotta, when I yeah. dive in that I don't uh, exceed don't go below the, fifty meters when get, you're swimming. Get, right. Get water in my watch. <laughs> I don't know how far out you got to go for the water to get that deep here. It's awful shallow. <laughs> Halfway there. to Cuba, probably. <laughs> Halfway to Mexico, huh? <laughs> oh. So everything's great. Well, you know what? I got a few minutes here. Where's your bag? My bag is here. Is old um, Faithful in there? The old harmonica? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. The old Honer? Yeah. What did you want to hear? Well, we've got one lady that watches. She always wants to hear, you are my sunshine. You are my sunshine. Had a lot of meaning to her. My only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. She didn't want me to sing it, though, did she? Oh, she doesn't mind either way. We gotta get the dolphins. You just gotta remember yeah. all the words if you're gonna sing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, play a dolphin song. <laughs> oh, close. Going That's good to right. the last yeah. two notes. There you go. Hey, <laughs> she'll forgive you. Yeah. I believe that's Winnetta, Winnetta that requests that all the time. How, how about are we going? Uh, are we going? Um, the caissons are rolling. Sure. Along? For our vets, the caissons. How sure. about coming around the mountain? Well, pick one. We're doing both. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, now do the caissons. I just did it. <laughs> uh, oh, coming around the mountain. Coming around kinda, the mountain. Kind of switched into caissons. Hmm. Okay. <laughs>
awesome. Old Man River keeps on rolling along. Our old Kentucky home. Let's play that since we had the Kentucky Derby yesterday. Yeah. Oh, did you watch that? I didn't. I was working. Oh, that was good. The, the horse that won was only two years old. Wow. Can you believe two years they grow up that big That's and that big and strong? It? Two, and amazing. he was way out in front of everybody. Man, wow. what a horse. Woo. So it wasn't close, huh? He... There was 20, 20 horses running. Apparently that was a big field, too. Wow. I'll play yeah. my old Kentucky home here. Yeah, that was really cool. You remember the that old... there? Yeah. Oh, they yeah. sang. They all sang "Old oh, Kentucky Home." Let's too. start the race with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and it was raining pitchforks too. Oh wow! It's funny. It was raining here, the same yeah. as raining down yeah. there. Yeah. <laughs> same time, it was drenching down. All of them, the and ladies it, with their hats. And... Yeah, yeah. Oh, they had fancy hats. <laughs> it was really cute. And, and, and they're poison. They, they were drinking poison too. Yeah, probably. And they walked. <laughs> they walked all. I didn't remember that from the past. They. They walked all the way around they the, the track, le leading the horses. Yeah, it was quite in the mud. <laughs> quite spectacular. Yep. Yeah. Well, they were concerned about the horses running in the mud because they hadn't trained them in the mud, but it didn't seem to bother the horses. A anymore. mudder. They call them yeah. mudders when they're good in the mud. Uh, I was really, really impressed with those horses. Boy, I'm telling you, they ran. I love watching horse races. Yeah. They're majestic creatures. Ah, yeah, marvelous, marvelous. And they, some of those horses are huge. Oh, and then they interviewed the jockey. The jockey on the winning horse, he was 52 years old. Oh, wow. Had to hand it to him. And, and they interviewed guys. the jockeys. The jockeys talked about the whole thing. And wow. The jockeys were... So was that one of the favorites, or was he... Yeah, yeah, he, he was. was okay. He was Apparently, the, the owner, they, he'd won about five derbies before that oh, or wow. something like that. Yeah, and they showed him and his sons there and his wife and the whole bit. And yeah, the whole thing was very spectacular. There's people throwing questions up here, Roy. They're they're giving making comments about you. You know what? I think I'm going to hand you the phone. <laughs> <laughs> see if you can see it here. I'm going to put it in the selfie mode. That's when maybe you... I should put my glasses on so I can see them better. Get... Oops! I just hit the wrong button. Well, that uh, Facebook thing you're doing, Rob, what am I I'm doing very here? impressed with that. I, it's, and now that I'm getting into it more, I, it's even more impressive. Here we go. Ugh. People My come, face. Come together from, all, from all over the world. I don't know world, if you're going to be really. able to see it. Can you see it? From all over the world. Yeah, I there see something. Go. There you Spent go. Spent time on Marco Island with my friend Alice. Went into Naples and went on this war, world. On the world. Uh -huh. Lynn Foster, good morning, Roy. Hi, Lynn. Jonna Yersini, hi, Joanna. Nice to see you this morning. <laughs> Love that Roy knows something about everything. <laughs> <laughs> he knows something about everything. I, I think she's giving me, giving me the biz, something about everything. I think nothing about everything is more accurate. Uh, hey, how do you learn to play the harmonics, says Becky. Well, I'm just a young kid, and I just... Fiddle around with it. <laughs> yeah, that harmonica is 80 years old. Hi, Roy. Hi, honey. Hi. Love, love you guys. Says, uh, what was her name? Here's Patty. Hi, Roy from Kentucky Derby State. Oh, boy. Patty, yeah. Here's Kathy. Good morning. Hi, love. <laughs> Shella. Love my old Kentucky home from Kentucky. David says, hi, Roy from St. Louis. Hi, everybody. Hi, Roy from Wherever it was here, John says, God bless Roy. Well, thank you. Thank, God bless you. Hello, I enjoy your day, and great job with those songs, Roy. says, my gosh, morning blessings. Bless you, dear. Barbara says, hi, Roy. Remember the dance we had in April when I was there? Yeah, I sure do, Barbara. Great time. Yeah, you're a great dancer. <laughs> did you write a book, Roy? Yeah, I did, as a matter of fact, and I'm getting it finished up there now, and Hi, Jennifer. Hi, says, here's Kathleen. Good morning, Roy, from 
Alberta, Canada. Oh, good. Oh, love to you, dear. Sandy says, hi. Hi, Roy. Great day to you, Lynn, Jennifer. How are you doing? Doing great. Susan says, you play good like my father did. There you go. <laughs> How about that? Thanks, dear. Phyllis back in Woolham. Hello from Ohio. Woolham. Here you go. You know, you don't, you don't realize this, Roy, but you've become, you become kind of a father figure to a lot of people here on Facebook. Maybe a grandfather figure. A grandfather figure, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Some people have said that. You remind them of their grandfather, but a lot of people, you remind them of their dad. It's like... How it's... about their great-grandfather? <laughs> their great-grandfather? There you go. <laughs> oh, it's amazing. Yeah, my great-granddad came over from the old country. <laughs> Yeah, the old country. <laughs> Went through the Great Lakes on a wooden old wooden clipper ship and landed in Milwaukee, wow. north of Milwaukee. And here you are <laughs> in Naples, Florida. I hear that he carried his uh, wife ashore through the surf, you know, when they landed with a little right. boat. And uh, she, apparently it was such a uh, uh, disagreeable voyage, painful uncomfortable boy she they had a farm that was kind of near the lake right and i understand she never the rest of her life ever went to look at the lake oh that's she had too such bad. a horrible trip through the lake that's probably why you appreciate the water so much yeah. <laughs> i think in the old days they probably didn't have very good sanitation aboard oh, those old know. clipper ships and yeah i don't think maybe a was. lot of disease who I knows i think the sanitation was a bucket yeah, and then maybe they all got seasick. I mean, it'd be pretty miserable below deck. Oh, yeah. And how long did it take? This, uh, this quite trip? a while, and I don't think everybody could come out on deck either. So if they're just mm. kind of cooped up below deck, I can see it'd be pretty miserable. But they and got over they here from the old country. Yet they came. You had to hand it to them because who knows, you know, what they're going to run into. Right. They, they must have heard stories about Indian massacres and the whole nine yards. And still they came over, isn't that still something? Still the land of opportunity. Well, I think, didn't the government promise them a few acres or something? Yeah, in the old days. Yeah, yeah I think that's what got things going. Well, I think that was out west, wasn't it? That the, was the out, land west, out west, but I, yeah. I don't know why they came to the Midwest. And they must have had a few bucks to buy a farm or something. I don't think land cost too much per acre back in those but it days. it still was, money was money, and it's all relevant. Yeah. I got to hand it to the pioneers coming over like yeah. that. <laughs> well, a lot to think about. Oh, thanks for the music. Oh, that was a pleasure. It's That's, always a delight. I, we got to, I got to, we got to keep those reeds wet. You know, that thing gets clogged up if you don't play at that harmonica. Well, when you're 80 years old, things do get a little creaky. <laughs> get clogged up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's for sure. All right, Roy, I got a mosey on. Well, you have a great day. Yeah, it's wonderful seeing you, Rob. Enjoy Always. your book. Yeah, we have a good time together. Yes, we do. Everybody sends their love. Yeah, they're <laughs> building the Panama Canal. There you go. I, you know, I, 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 sent, I sent them and I offered my services when they were widening it. To work on the Panama yeah, Canal? Yeah, because I'm a professional engineer. So I right. wrote them a big letter saying I was a professional engineer and I could speak Spanish. I didn't say how many words, you know. There you I've, go. I've got hasta la vista and buenos dias, and, <laughs> but uh, and I offered my services, but you know, I never heard back. Really? No. They maybe they got still got the letter. They're still processing it. I don't know. That was about fifty. Well, you, yep. You I must, must get your. When uh, did they widen it? Must have been twenty, thirty years ago, or yeah. fifty years or something. Well, you never know. Maybe they'll call you now. Yeah. Now that you got your captain's license. Of course, they gave away the canal. Now I'd be working for some foreign entity. Oh, well, we won't bring that up again. Maybe we could buy it back. Buy it back. Well, there you go. There's something else to do with all the money from your book sales. <laughs> Fly everybody down here to the beach and buy the Panama Canal back. Wow. <laughs> what got an to endeavor. Sell books. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I got to get going, Roy. Okay. Well, Have a great day. Well, Tally ho. Tally ho. <laughs> Have a great day. You too. Bless all the Facebook people. They bless you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, our good friend Roy. Always a treat chatting with him. Beautiful Sunday morning. What a great place to come and just relax. 
get in touch with the creator. It's surrounded by beauty here. There's a couple chairs waiting for you with an umbrella. Come on down. Absolutely gorgeous. Hey, I want to thank everybody for watching today. Thanks for being so kind to Roy. He really appreciates it and gets a big thrill out of it. Be sure to tell your friends about Southwest Florida Television. Ooh, you hear that? It's our osprey walking away up here. Let's see if I can zoom in, give you a quick look at there. I don't know if that's the male or female. Oh, that's the female. I just saw a male fly over. There you go, she's out of the nest this morning. Don't know if there's any eggs in there yet or not. She's being pretty noisy. She sticks her head up again. Beautiful birds, the ospreys. You can see that nest right up by Roy, up in Area 4, at Del Norwegans, the north end of Area 4, parking lot 4. Be able to get a little closer. It's a little gonna get a little shaky. Sorry. That's the best I can do with an iPhone. That's a pretty good look at our osprey this morning. Then pop your head up there one last time for us. Cool. All right. You can see the nest up there in the top of the tree, right up there. You can hear her calling out. All right. Well, thank you for watching. Again, tell your friends about Southwest Florida Television. Be sure to subscribe for my live feeds, and you'll get a notification when I go live. You won't be guessing. Lots of great photos and videos here to share. I'll post a little higher quality version of my beach walk, the video from my beach walk on YouTube later today. So you'll, if you want to see it in a little, a little clearer image than the Facebook Live image, check that out. You'll probably see some ads pop up for the video. But it's just, so I make a little money off of this. It's, it's pennies, believe me. It's nothing much. Just somebody clicks on an ad. But every little bit helps. So if you see an ad that interests you on YouTube, click on it. So that's looking south down our beach. Down towards Naples. And one more pan around here. To the north. Have a wonderful day, wherever you might be watching from. For Southwest Florida Television, I'm Rob Stan. God bless.